I'm super excited to be, um, you know, associated with Blender's Pride Glassware Fashion Next. They've um, been pushing the boundaries of fashion, and they've, you know, really tried to like create um, immersive fashion experiences. And I think um, the fact that they are experimental with fashion showcasing seamlessly merges with my brand philosophy. I'm super excited about it. Super. Same question to you, Sobhu. Well, I have worked with Blender's Pride before, and I think what they how they encourage Indian fashion and Indian designers is amazing and I'm so happy to be here with Rimsim and uh, I'm so excited that I got to wear such a wonderful beautiful dress. So, question to both of you, how do you feel about today's show? How's your experience? You've one worked with Brand before. Yes, I've, I've, worked, I've worked with Blender's Pride before but with Rimsim I just wore a beautiful sari in Cannes many many years ago. Um, it had the same detailing, but this is obviously way more elevated and uh, I was so happy to come back and walk with you and uh, it's, it was great, it was an amazing experience in the Delhi cold, Delhi to Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> same how was your experience for Sonam? I mean, I absolutely love Sonam. I think anybody who is in fashion loves Sonam because she's fashion royalty. <laughs> oh and God! I when I was designing this for her, like I think I just had these two words in my head, like fashion royalty and I wanted to like <laughs> kind of design something that's appropriate for her as well as like I feel like I was just telling her that I feel this is like coming full circle because like she said like you know she wore uh, uh, one of my saris uh, at Cannes in 2016 and then you know like I was telling her a few weeks back as well it really kind of like you know skyrocketed and things went like really um, you know it went viral and I, I mean I think the brand kind of got that visibility oh. because of Sonam and uh, to come back and do this again with Sonam uh, after eight years is amazing. I, I just feel like it is very important because we have so much talent in India to encourage that on an international platform and any big platform. As someone who has an audience, I think it's my responsibility and especially for someone so talented. Thank you. Can you talk about the different themes that we represent you? Um, so, Blender's Pride has created three, th three themes, um, which is Wanderlux that talks about, um, you know, how people are going to travel a lot and going to be dressed. And Blossom Glam, which is, uh, the best you know, thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> super, uh, super dressed up, red carpet fashion, and of course, my favorite, Interglamatic, which it takes inspiration from space. Um, and futurism. So uh, I think today I've kind of tried to incorporate uh, interglamatic and red carpet together in this creation. It's glam and futuristic and yes. innovative. Yes. Super. Last question for you guys. What do you think Blender's Pride Glassware Fashion Next represents? I think for me it represents like pushing the boundaries of fashion and experimental fashion. So, so, so I, I, I think I concur. Um, we have so much to offer in terms of our youth in our country and the creativity and innovation. And I'm so glad Blender's Pride is encouraging that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you very much. Thank you so much.